The Assets panel lets us upload and manage all the assets for a project. We're going to cover adding assets, deleting assets, and sorting assets. To add an asset, there are a couple ways to go about doing this. The first way is to use the Upload button. In the Assets panel, we can access this. We can choose our file to upload here. You can upload images, PDFs, text files, PPTs, CSVs, RDJs, all these formats. And after we make our selection, the asset is loaded into the Assets panel. From there, we can drag the asset right onto the canvas, in this case, as an image element. What if it's another file type? Maybe we're linking to a PDF. Just drag in the PDF and a text link is automatically created. Of course, we can still access this file from any other link, like a button. We're just linking right to that file. Or we can select from the Assets panel anytime we want to choose our asset, like when we're replacing an image. The Assets panel is where we can select that replacement. We can also add an image element to our project from the Add panel. When we go to replace that and upload an image, we can make a selection from here as well. And once it's brought into our project, it's been added as an asset, and we can see it in the Assets panel. So, a ton of ways to do this. Anytime we use an Upload button and bring an asset into our project, that asset shows up in the Assets panel. The other way though, the other way to add assets is by dragging and dropping. We can drag an image, for instance, right onto the canvas, and it'll automatically be added as an image element. Of course, once that's added, it shows up in our assets panel. And if we want to drag in an asset, but we're unsure about where we want to use it, we can drag it directly inside and use that asset later. While we're on the subject of dragging and dropping, this is a killer feature, especially if you're dealing with many assets. You can grab an entire lot of assets and drag them right into your project. You don't need the assets panel open for this, and it can save you a ton of time. Again, anytime we drag and drop assets into our project, they show up in the assets panel. That's adding assets. Next is deleting, and this is a quick one. If you've uploaded an image to your project and delete the actual image element, you can still access that image in the assets panel, even if it's not being used anywhere in your project. If we click the settings icon on the top right, we can see more details about the asset, and of course, we can delete it. We can confirm, and it's gone. But that's deleting. Finally, let's talk about sorting. We can select from a number of sorting options. By default, your newest uploads appear on top. We can also choose how our sorted assets are displayed. By default, assets are sorted in a simple grid. Other options, like list, give you the file name, and for pixel-based images, you get the resolution. And that's it for sorting. So anytime we upload an asset to our project, it shows up in the Assets panel. We can delete an asset by going to its settings and pressing Delete. And we can sort our assets and configure how they're displayed inside the Assets panel.